Question 1. Which is the best way to drive through a sharp curve? A. Slow down before entering the curve. B. Slow down when you have entered the curve. C. No to change your speed. Correct answer. A. Slow down before entering the curve. When approaching a sharp curve, it is essential to slow down before entering the curve. This allows you to adjust your speed safely and maintain better control of your vehicle while navigating the curve. By reducing your speed before entering the curve, you decrease the risk of losing control or experiencing skidding. It also provides you with more time to react to any unexpected hazards that may arise within the curve. Therefore, slowing down before entering the curve is the safest and most effective way to drive through a sharp curve according to the California DMV Handbook. Question 2. You carry a load in a passenger vehicle. The load can extend beyond the fenders on the right side. A. No more than 3 feet. B. Under no circumstances. C. No more than 6 inches. Correct answer. C. No more than 6 inches. Not carry anything in or on a passenger vehicle which extends beyond the fenders on the left side or more than 6 inches beyond the fenders on the right side. Question 3. You should not cross a solid double yellow line in the center of the roadway to A. Make a left turn. B. Pass another vehicle. C. Enter a private driveway. Correct answer. B. Pass another vehicle. Do not pass over double solid yellow lines. Stay to the right of these lines unless you are. Question 4. To ensure that you have enough space to change lanes safely, you should A. Look in your side view mirrors only. B. Always turn and look over your right shoulder. C. Glance over your shoulder at the lane you wish to enter. Correct answer. C. Glance over your shoulder at the lane you wish to enter. Question 5. The following white and black sign means. A. Slow moving traffic should move to the right. B. Right turn yield. C. Drive to the right. Correct answer. C. Drive to the right. These signs are generally posted before medians or islands to prevent motorists from driving into traffic moving in the opposing direction. Question 6. If you want to pass a bicyclist riding on the right edge of your lane, you A. Must sound your horn before passing the bicyclist. B. Must not squeeze past the bicyclist. C. Should maintain a cushion of 18 inches between your vehicle and the bicycle. Correct answer, B. Must not squeeze past the bicyclist. When passing a bicyclist, you must allow at least three feet of space between your vehicle and the bicycle whenever possible. You must not squeeze the bicyclist off the road. Question 7. On a freeway, you should look further ahead than you would on a city street. A. Because it takes your vehicle a quarter mile to stop completely. B. Because it helps you stay with the flow of traffic. C. In order to see potential hazards earlier. Correct answer. C. In order to see potential hazards earlier. On the freeway, be ready for changes in traffic conditions. Watch for signals from other drivers. Expect merging vehicles at on-ramps and interchanges and be prepared for rapid changes in road conditions and traffic flow. Question 8. The best way to pass a large truck that is traveling in the center lane of a three-lane roadway is to A. Pass very slowly on the left and move ahead of it. B. Pass very quickly on the right and move ahead of it. C. Pass quickly on the left and move ahead of it. Correct answer. C. Pass quickly on the left and move ahead of it. It is important for drivers to pass large vehicles on the left side because it allows them to maintain better visibility of the road and the surrounding traffic, reducing the risk of accident. Question 9. If there is a deep puddle in the road ahead, you should A. Maintain the posted speed to make it through the water. B. Avoid the puddle if possible. C. Shift into neutral as you drive through the water. Correct answer. B. Avoid the puddle if possible. 
To prevent skidding on slippery surfaces, avoid especially slippery areas, such as ice patches, wet leaves, oil, or deep puddles. The safest surface for driving is a dry, solid surface. Question 10. How does a solid red traffic light differ from a red arrow traffic light? A. Red arrows are only used to stop traffic making a left turn. B. You are not allowed to turn on a red arrow after stopping. C. Red arrows are only used to stop traffic making a right turn. Correct answer, B. You are not allowed to turn on a red arrow after stopping. You may sometimes turn right when stopped by a solid red light. You may never turn left or right when stopped by a traffic light with a red arrow. Question 11. When you approach a crosswalk where a blind pedestrian is waiting to cross, you must stop. A. At the crosswalk and then tell the pedestrian when it is safe to cross the street. B. At the crosswalk after sounding your horn to alert the pedestrian to your presence. C. At the crosswalk and wait for the pedestrian to cross. Correct answer. C. At the crosswalk and wait for the pedestrian to cross. Pedestrian blind or not, has the right of way, so you should wait for him, her to cross the street at the crosswalk before proceeding. Question 12. The following yellow and black sign means. A. Lanes merge ahead. B. Divided highway ends. C. Divided highway ahead. Correct answer. C. Divided highway ahead. Traffic in opposite directions is divided by an island or median. There may be additional lanes moving in each direction. Question 13. You may drive in lane designated for the exclusive use of public transit buses. A. When overtaking a slow-moving vehicle. B. When crossing the bus lane to make a right turn. C. When not used by a public transit bus. Correct answer. B. When crossing the bus lane to make a right turn. It is illegal to drive stop, park, or leave a vehicle in an area designated for public transit buses. Signs will be posted to indicate the lanes are for bus-only use. However, you may cross a bus lane to make a right turn. Question 14. What should you do to avoid skidding when driving on wet surfaces? A. Increase your speed to enter curves and reduce your speed to exit them. B. Reduce your speed prior to entering curves and intersections. C. Swerve between lanes to gain control of your vehicle. Correct answer. B. Reduce your speed prior to entering curves and intersections. Ice and packed snow on the road can cause your vehicle to skid. This is even more likely if you are driving too fast or going downhill. Drive slowly and leave space between your vehicle and the vehicle ahead of you. To prevent skidding on slippery surfaces, slow down as you approach intersections and curves. For sharp curves, slow down as you approach and move through. Question 15. Abandoning an animal on the highway may result in a. Jail time. b. A point against your license. c. No legal consequences. Correct answer a. Jail time. It is illegal to dump or abandon an animal on the highway. Doing so can result in six months of jail time, a fine of up to $1,000, or both. Question 16. Water on the road can cause a vehicle to hydroplane. Your car may hydroplane at speeds as low as a. 45 miles per hour. b. 35 miles per hour. c. 40 miles per hour. Correct answer, B, 35 miles per hour. Hydroplaning occurs when there is standing water on a roadway. At speeds up to 35 miles per hour, most tires will channel water away from the tire. As your speed increases past 35 miles per hour, tires cannot channel the water as well and your tires may start to lose contact with the road and ride over the water like a set of water skis. Question, 17. You are driving on a roadway where vehicles are approaching from the opposite direction on your left and vehicles are parked in a row on your right. You should steer. A. Closer to the centerline of the roadway than to the parked cars. B. 
closer to the parked cars than the oncoming vehicles. C. A middle course between the oncoming traffic and the parked cars. Correct answer. C. A middle course between the oncoming traffic and the parked cars. Try to stay as far away from the oncoming traffic as from the parked cars so you will have room to react to events in either location. Question 18. You are planning to make a left turn from a dedicated left turn lane when the light turns to a yellow arrow. You should A. Be prepared to obey the next signal that appears. B. Speed up to get through the intersection. C. Stop and not turn under any circumstances. Correct answer. A. Be prepared to obey the next signal that appears. Any type of yellow light gives you time to prepare for the light that follows it. You should stop at a yellow light unless it is unsafe for you to do so. If you enjoying this practice test please like this and hit the subscribe button or you can follow us on Facebook, links are given in description. Question 19. If a driver's left arm is extended out the window and bent upward, this indicates they intend to a. Slow down or stop. b. Turn right. c. Turn left. Correct answer, b. Turn right. There are three hand signals. Stop hand signal, extend your arm downwards with your palm facing backward. Left turn hand signal, hold your arm straight out of the window. Right turn hand signal. Extend your arm upwards at a 90 degrees angle. Question 20. What is the usual requirement for drivers of non-commercial vehicles when parked at a yellow painted curb? A. They must stay with their vehicle. B. They can leave their vehicle unattended. C. They must unload their vehicle quickly. Correct answer. A. They must stay with their vehicle. Drivers of non-commercial vehicles are usually required to stay with their vehicle when parked at a yellow painted curb, ensuring efficient loading and unloading operations. Question 21. For improved visibility in fog, rain, or snow, use A. Emergency lights. B. Low beam headlights. C. High beam headlights. Correct answer. B. Low beam headlights. Use low beam headlights when driving in rain, snow, sleet, or fog. High beam headlights in adverse weather conditions lower visibility by reflecting off the precipitation and back into the driver's eyes. Question 22. If you are feeling fatigued while driving, you should A. Increase your speed to reach your destination more quickly. B. Increase the volume of your radio. C. Find a safe parking area to take a short nap. Correct answer, C. Find a safe parking area to take a short nap. When driving, watch for warning signs of fatigue. You are too tired to drive safely if you are struggling to keep your eyes open, drifting from your lane, or turning up the radio and rolling down your windows to keep yourself awake. If you notice these signs, it is a good idea to find a safe place to park so you can refresh yourself with a short nap. Question 23. If your vehicle has a two-part safety belt system, you should A. Use only the lap belt. B. Use both the lap and shoulder belts. C. Use only the shoulder belt. Correct answer. B. Use both the lap and shoulder belts. If your vehicle has a two-part seat belt system, be sure to wear both the lap belt and the shoulder belt. Wearing either part alone greatly reduces your protection. If you have an automatic shoulder belt, be sure to buckle your lap belt as well. Question 24. What consequence may occur if an unlicensed person is caught driving your vehicle? A. A fine will be imposed on the vehicle owner. B. The vehicle will be impounded for 30 days. C. The vehicle registration will be revoked. Correct answer. B the vehicle will be impounded for 30 days. If an unlicensed person is caught driving your vehicle, it may be impounded for 30 days as a consequence, serving as a deterrent to unauthorized use of vehicles. Question 25. What is the recommended hand position for one hand steering when backing up? A. 3 o'clock position. B. 12 o'clock position. C. 
9 o'clock position. Correct answer, B, 12 o'clock position. When backing up to see where you are going behind you, it's recommended to place your hand at the 12 o'clock position on the steering wheel. This allows for easier control and adjustment of the vehicle's direction while maintaining visibility of the surroundings. Thanks for watching. If you like it, please share the video with your friends and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook.